Getting ready to kick off Commodity Classic here in 2018 from Anaheim, California. I'm Ty Higgins on the Ohio AgNet, joined by Matt Reese with Ohio's Country Journal and a couple of Ohio farmers with us as well, including Fred Yoder from Union County and Keith Kemp from Preble County. Gentlemen, a lot to talk about. Uh, usually Commodity Classic does bring a lot of topics as far as new technologies and making you more efficient on the farm, but uh, now the topic of conversation today is just keeping the ethanol industry viable and Fred I know that you've been inside the Beltway more than outside over the past uh, couple of decades and have you ever seen a day like this you told me last night that today uh, could really be a make or break for American agriculture today's gonna be either a very good day for agriculture or a very bad day for agriculture we are seeing the the RFS being uh, debated at the White House today we have some uh, people there that like Ted Cruz that are trying to figure out a way to to break the current RFS then we also have uh, a couple of senators in there that's going to have a chance to defend the RFS, and that'd be Senator Grassley and Senator Ernst. So it's going to be an interesting day, and the things that they're proposing is not going to be, for, be good for agriculture. We have to stand firm. Um, that, you know, as I said before uh, yesterday, farmers are notorious for negotiating to lose less. We can't, we can't do that on this one here because we got a lot of our trade issues are in, at risk as well as at domestic issues. This is the time to stand f firm. We got. Uh, performance on our side we got positive things that the RFS has done on our side and, and we got to stand firm. And speaking of trade issues, Fred brought that up, trade is a huge issue as always for agriculture and there's a number of trade things going on right now. Keith, what's some of the status of things with trade uh, around the world as we're here? We sit here at Commodity Classic, what are some things we're going to be talking about with regard to that? Well, Matt, you know, trade is the biggest important thing to the American farmer because you know, our number one customer in soybeans we all know is China, number two is Mexico. and Canada is not much far behind us. We got NAFTA, we got TTP, we got all these new trade negotiations. And so, you know, we're standing firm, but again, we got to work out these deals because the American farmers got so much at stake with trade today in the world we're after. And, and you know, China's put some new uh, restrictions on us with 1% FM in our shipments now, and they don't want any resistant weed seeds in there. So these are things we really got to set and negotiate and work out with the, you know, our people we trade with. And uh, we came out all to uh, California to talk about all these issues here in Anaheim, and I heard a report today that the weather is as nice back home in Ohio <laughs> as it is out here. It's supposed to rain, sort of, what is it, 50, 60 degrees here? It's about the same back home. Although I will say over the past 24 hours, we've got more rain here in Anaheim than in Ohio, which is good news for everybody in the Buckeye <laughs> <That> State. <is. laughs> as we talk about all the issues affecting agriculture, you mentioned trade, Keith, but we also have infrastructure and, of course, a new farm bill being uh, formulated right now inside the Beltway. What are you hearing? as far as that process and, and what are some of the challenges and, and some of the concerns farmers should be having as, as this new farm bill becomes law? Well, we're actually hearing two different stories, one in the, the House side and one on the Senate side. Uh, C Congressman Conaway, uh, Chairman Conaway, would uh, like to go ahead and introduce a bill here very quickly. They're ready to go. They've done a lot of work, done a lot of stuff uh, that they're getting ready to go, and, and he'd like to have something voted on before Memorial Day. I don't know where that's going to happen, but it's encouraging. The Senate on the other so, uh, side of it is uh, is more. Senator Roberts is, is sort of uh, almost in the the frame of mind that let's just uh, let's just extend the one we have now, or or it, there just doesn't seem to be the urgency to get that done. So, I would like to see the the, the House pass their bill to put pressure on the Senate to, to get that done too. We got a couple of things we got to fix. There's not a lot of things we have to do, but. Uh, we have to do some fixing on some of the things, especially uh, dairy and, and cotton. We have to have some new remedies for that. And all these things we're talking about um, sort of are, are overshadowed maybe by the commodity prices right now. What's the sentiment here at Commodity Classic, the largest gathering of corn and soybean wheat farmers in the country? What's the sentiment with regard to the prices right now that are maybe a little frustrating looking forward? Keith, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, the American farmer, you know, we've been through this before. Uh, you know, one thing that really helped American farm, we had a fantastic crop last year. So I think that's given everybody a little better attitude than what everybody thought. And, you know, we got some optimism. There's some weather challenge in South America now that commodity prices are seeing a little spark. So, you know, all in all, the, the, everybody's in a little better state of mind than what everybody thought they'd be in. And I might touch a little bit on infrastructure that uh, Ty mentioned there. You know, the president put a pretty big emphasis on infrastructure, and I know at the United Soybean Board, uh, we're really going to put a lot of emphasis on infrastructure. Hope we can build collaborations and do something with our locks and dams, because you know that is our cheapest source of moving all this grain, and we're also viable for that. 
And so we really want to hone in on this infrastructure. And, and you know, the roads and bridges are going to be more of a state problem, but you know, these locks and dams and our waterways, we really got to get to work on fairly and get some money into this and hopefully, you know, improve our infrastructure because it's so vital for the American farmer. Because, you know, we saw bases in Ohio this year really drop off at the river because of locks and dam problems and everything. So it's really vital to the Ohio farmers and American farmers. That's Keith Kempe, Farms in Preble County, Fred Yoder from Union County, Matt Reese with Ohio's Country Journal. I'm Ty Higgins with the Ohio Agnet from Anaheim, California for the 2018 Commodity Classic. Follow coverage all week long at OhioAgnet.com. We'll see you down the road.